Hello, welcome back to this little mini series in which we're having a look at Steinberg's M Guitar sample plugin for Halion. Let's have a look at patterns, see how they work. So when we choose pattern mode, this little keyboard appears. Before we talk any more about it, I'll give you a demo. So I've plugged in this really simple little eight bar pattern behind us. The lower notes tell us what chord's gonna be played and the upper notes tell us what pattern of notes that chord is gonna be played in. Let's uh, hear what we've got. Okay, let's see what's going on. So I'm pressing a C1 on my lower note. And you can see that we're in um, strum mode here. So every note that I play on the keyboard plays an entire chord. And the upper note, the articulation note, tells us what kind of pattern is going to be played. So let's have a look at F4 on our little mini keyboard and we can see that this is blues pattern 62. If I just cycle around the first two bars, change the pattern, it'll catch next time around. of choice to go at loads of different patterns and you can have a different pattern for every single note so when I go to play the D1 on the second section a little bit bigger then we get a different pattern So what you want to basically do is choose a different pattern for every single note on the keyboard, on this little mini keyboard, and then hold your key down and go through them all and hear what they all sound like. So here's C. is the one that I actually had running. So I think there's absolutely nothing wrong with like putting 12 almost completely random patterns in and just having fun. I wrote that thing in, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes, just playing around with different patterns, thinking that sounds nice, bang. I think this is the complete sweet spot of tools like this to give you instant access to loads of different styles that fit together really quickly and and then you can mess around with the articulations between the various notes and every now and again you just catch something that just sounds really good that D sharp up to the F let's head into the settings page see what's over here so we've got three different types of um, noise guitar noise that we can add to our sound we've got the sound of the release the, the, the note being stopped, fret noise and pre-notes, the stuff that happens before you actually sound the note. These are all quite hard to catch, so I've had to set something up to help me. If I press notes on the keyboard, the, the volume, the physical volume of the keyboard kind of messes us up. So I've got this tiny little note going. You hear that little squeak? That's your fret noise. It is subtle. Okay, turn fret noise off. We don't get that little squeak anymore. Head to solo mode. 
to show you the release volume. Play a note. Complete silence at the end. Just brings out a little bit once it's finished. And for the third one, back to chords mode. Pre notes. So I'm going to play some notes with my left hand. Hear nothing at all. So that's the sound of me putting my hand on the guitar, preparing to play a chord. All of these settings are to do with um, how sensitive the keyboard is to velocity change. I like lots of sensitivity. I want to be able to play really soft or quite dynamic. But if you want to take some of that away, pull your dynamics down, or turn them all down. Now doesn't matter how hard I press that note as light as I possibly could, doesn't matter. But like I say, I do tend to like quite a lot of dynamic quality to my playing. It gives me, that's one of the beauties of the guitar. Got some reverb baked in. It's <laughs> like, how long can you hold? Then we've got an equalizer over here. They do like the dark controls on um, dark background, but we do have sliders here. Just back in solo mode so that we can hear these notes. No bass, all the bass. And then finally, three um, audio sources. So we've got the, the overhead mic, catching all the room. Close mic. For all the really fine control articulation, better if you're playing really quietly, you'll hear. And DI, let's ignore the fact that we've got an acoustic guitar and plug a cable into it, why not? Close mic is really sensitive. And that's the M guitar. This is now in my toolbox. I'm going to use this a lot, because particularly with the pattern editor and that the, the functionality that you get out of that chord management. It's so intuitive, so quick to produce, you know, really interesting kind of melodic ideas. And that's what I intend to use this for. I think it's really gorgeous sounding. Hope you enjoyed these couple of videos. And if you did, please do consider subscribing. Hit the like button, it really helps me with the YouTube stuff. Thanks very much for watching.